everyone, this is Kate Schwenke, and I'm going to be doing a packing video for you guys today. This is a packing video for the Jujube Super B, and this print is called Sea Ammo by Jujube and Tokidoki, and I love it. It's perfect for summer and just perfect for the beach or the pool, anywhere you want to go with it. The Super B is actually one of my favorite Jujube bags because you can use it for so many different things. Number one, I love it for the pool or the beach. It's an amazing pool bag. And also, it's a great overnight bag or just if you're moving and you are and you need something to hold extra things in the car, it makes an awesome car bag. It's just so versatile and I love it. So um, I have it packed up today for the beach. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have it packed. And also, I have a fuel cell over here too in the first mate print. And um, I wasn't able to fit it inside the bag because I have towels and things like that. But this is something that will be going with us, so I wanted to include it in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Super B and just some of the features of the outside of the bag. And then I'm going to move to the inside of the bag for the packing portion. So as you can see here on the very front, there are three pockets. This one and this one go all the way down. This one here kind of stops right about here. So it's kind of like it only takes up half the middle pocket there but it's not a big deal. It also has a zipper on top of this one. These two are just open slip pockets. On the sides, there are two tabs here, and I added my own D-rings to those, so I can put them put this bag on a stroller if I wanted to, and also hang my beautiful Fa by Andrea on there. On the very back, there is a very nice, uh, large, open slip pocket. It's it goes all the way from here to all the way down here. It's an awesome pocket. And it has a snap closure here. It's not magnetic, it's just a regular snap. And this is the other side, same as the other side. I added a D-ring there too, which is where I have my passy pod. And on the top here, you have two nice tote straps. And then you have a nice long zipper that goes all the way across the top here with one zipper pull and all the way down to the tail. So that is the outside of the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have the outside packed, and then we'll move to the inside. So on the sides here, as I showed you before, I have one of my fobs by Andrea there. It's my seahorse one that I actually had made to go with the first mate print and the Commodore and the Admiral, and it's just so cute. Um, I had to add it to this bag because some of the colors in the bag actually match my fob, so I thought that was really cute. On the other side, I just have one passy pod, and in here I just have one passy with a passy clip. In the front pockets here, on this side, I have one pack of tissues. I have my messenger strap. If I can get it out. <laughs> I might as well take this part out first. I kind of stack things the way I would probably need to use them. So I have a large Baby Gannix, um baby sunscreen, but I can use this on all four of us, me, my husband, and my two boys. Then, like I was trying to say, I have my messenger strap in there. This is my Commodore BFF strap, but it works really great with the Super B, and it looks really cute because it's got anchors. That is all I had in the very front pocket here. On the other side over here, I just have my Kate Spade wallet. It's a full-size wallet. Fits really great in that pocket over there. I think that's all I had in that pocket there. Yep. In the zipper pocket here, I just have a couple things that I kind of wanted to keep separated from everything else. So I have a little pair of sunglasses for my four-year-old. And then I have a coin purse by GGB. It's got um, just punch cards and insurance cards and things like that. So that is all I had in the very front pockets. On the very back, I only fit one thing in here. I probably could fit more. But I have my large wet bag. This is by PlanetWise. And this is just for when we're done at the beach and I have wet swimsuits and things like that for the boys. Just open it up, throw all the wet stuff in there, close it up, and I'm good to go. No wet car seats. So that is all I have on the outside of the bag. So now I'm going to raise up the camera and show you guys how I have the inside packed. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I have this packed up for the beach. And it has this really nice long zipper on the top here. It's very smooth. And I love how the Super B opens where you can just kind of fold it back. 
so you can see everything very easily. So uh, I'm first gonna go over here. I love the key fob feature in this bag. So you have a really nice long key fob. You can always find your keys. I've got my keys on there, as you can see. You can hook other things on there as well. Like if you have a small set piece or something that you wanna find at the very bottom of your bag, you can hook that on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sides. There are two large mesh pockets on the sides here that I will show you when the bag is totally empty. But on the very first mesh pouch here, I have an entire Be Quick in the Cloud Break print by GGB. In here, I just have changes of clothes for my boys. This first one here is for my one-year-old, and I just have a shirt and some shorts rolled up together. So there's one outfit, just in case the outfit that he travels down to the beach in ends up getting wet at some point, which I'm sure it will or just sandy. I have two pairs of socks over here. I've got one for the baby and one for my four-year-old. And I have one more pair of clothes under here. This is for my four-year-old. I have a pair of shorts, a pair, a, a pair of underwear, and a shirt. And I just rolled those up kind of like this, and it worked out really great. There's actually a lot you can fit into a Be Quick. That's why I love them so much. So that was in the very first pouch. Also right here in front of um, that pouch that I had, I actually have my monkey mat. And this is just a must have for the beach, I think. Um, especially if you have the little stakes that you can buy separately so that you can stick them into the sand, your blanket won't go anywhere. And these are really easy to shake out and clean when you're done at the beach. So I have a monkey mat there. On the other side, in the other mesh pocket here, I have another Be Quick. And in here, oh, this is a um, Admiral Print Be Quick, by the way. In here, I just have diapering stuff. I have two swim diapers for my son. I have two regular diapers after he's done at the beach. I have a little baggie dispenser. I have a Be Light change, or a Be Light, a light change pad in the Admiral Print. And then I have my custom booty pod in the Commodore print, and this is by my friend Christine. She has a um, page on Etsy called Baby Notions, and she's amazing. I love this. It's so cute. So, yeah, that's all I have in this. Be quick. Everything else, I'll just go through the towels next here. I have four towels in here. This one is just one of those baby towels with the, uh, the little hood. So that's for the baby. I know I keep calling him a baby, but he's I, he's like a, a year old, but he's still my baby, so. I have uh, this towel for me. It's just, it's actually nice and thin, but it's still very absorbent, so it fits really great in this bag. This is my husband's towel. It's a little bit more fluffy, but it's, uh, as long as you roll things up, they fit really nicely in here. At the very bottom, I have one more towel. This one's actually probably the biggest, and it is my four-year-old's. And this is actually a, a, a towel that my friend made for me, and it has a hood as well. So that's for my four-year-old. As you can see, these bags hold a ton of stuff. That is why I love the Super Vs. So um, I also had a medium set piece up on the side over here um, next to the towels. Or uh, this is a large set piece, sorry. And this is a navy berry. In here, I just have a couple of things that I didn't want to lose at the very bottom of the bag. So I have a med kit here, and this is in one of those travel on packing cubes. This is the small one, and this is just a med kit in case there's a boo-boo or an accident or something, and I need stuff to keep everyone safe <laughs> and healthy. And then I also have a Johnson & Johnson's hands and face wipes, too. You know how sandy the beach gets. So that is all that is in the main compartment of the bag. There's also a zipper back here. And in here, I just kind of put all my necessities that I would like to have for myself. So I have a little hand sanitizer spray by the Honest Company, and this one smells really good. I have a custom Lush small set piece made by my friend Cindy. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I have just a couple of things for me in here. I have a couple of panty liners, a rubber band, an EOS stick, a lip gloss, and a folding hairbrush. 
Right next to that, I have my custom small set piece made by my friend Christine, the one with the Baby Notions page. And uh, this is in the Toki Perky print. And in here I just have my emergency car, or not car charger, my phone charger. It's really cute, but if I end up running out of power at the beach, I can just hook my phone up to that and be all set. So that is all I have um, in the entire bag. Now I will kind of show you a little bit better how it looks empty. There's so much space in here. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but um, yeah, it's a really awesome bag. I'll show you just how big these pockets are in the very back too. Like I said, I had a Be Quick in each pocket, so if you have a Be Quick, you know just how big those are. This one doesn't really have anything in it because I took everything out for the most part. But I will show you just how easily they fit in there. Not even a trouble getting them in there. They're perfectly made for Be Quick. So on to my fuel cell. This is my fuel cell in the first mate print. And in here I just have things for both the boys and my husband and I. So on the very top here I have, I'll go with this first, I have a little cup that I just kind of stuck upside down on top of the water bottle right here. So that saved some space. Um, that is actually for my four-year-old, and this is for my four-year-old. It's just an Honest Kids um, drink pouch, pretty much. That's if he runs out of this, which he <laughs> can drain one of these dry in like one second, and he decides he wants some water, that's why I brought my cup, so that I can share with him, because I have a water bottle for myself and one for my husband. I also have a cup in here for my one-year-old, and that goes with this. He has one of these everywhere we go. I bring one with me just in case. This is a ready-made milk. Then I also have a happy baby broccoli, pears, and peas if he gets hungry. This is from my four-year-old. It's an Annie's oat milk cookie bar. He said he really liked those too. I also have some Annie's um, bunny fruit snacks for each boy. This is for my four-year-old. It's yogurt raisins. And then I have one Mighty Four Bar from my one-year-old by Plum. So that is all I have in there, and that is my packing video for the Super Bee with my fuel cell. So I hope it was helpful for you if you're looking to buy a Super Bee for this purpose, or just to see how big it is and how much it can hold. It can hold a ton. I love these bags. So um, thanks for watching.